It's on. There you go. So watch out for the bull. Is that pleather? I have no brakes and no gears. What could go wrong? No! Was that a rat? <laughs> In the plastic, 28 years this thing's been off the road. We still are under warranty. It's catching on. <laughs> Asbestos. That's a miracle. No way. Dead body. Oh my gosh. Master Inspector. Oh god. Goat it's magic. A, it's a cyanide capsule. A secret agent's car. My fingers are so cold. Clean your crack. Wow. Look at this. Look at this. Oh. <laughs> Game changer. It's like new. Ooh. Oh, 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 oh god. Okay. Better than rat poison. Wow. It's crazy. Nicey. Cleaner crack pretty good. Spot on. Moldy junk, mildew, barnacles. Lichen. Oh, wow. It's like a banana. Wow. Man. I'm guessing detective. In a bright yellow yeah, car? That's what, that's what <laughs> no way. Maybe this was Henry's car. I don't Karen understand. Patrol. There was a tornado coming. Basically perfect. Excellent interior. It surprised me. Feed the baby birds. I can't believe it. There may be hope for Squeezy yet. For your mother-in-law, we need you. What was that? Okay, cut. Good to the last drop, isn't it? <laughs> this video is brought to you by Surfshark VPN. Now, if you don't know what a VPN is, it's a virtual private network. Now, I don't know about you, if you've ever had your identity stolen, had your card information stolen from you, but we have and it's a major pain. And this is a virtual private network, so it protects your personal information while you're online, especially you're on public Wi-Fi, you don't know what kind of creeps and hackers are looking for your information so they can get something out of you. And this protects you from that. It encrypts all your information where they can't see your personal information online. I mean, you wouldn't give somebody the key to your car. Why give them the key to all your personal information? And they're giving our viewers a huge discount, an 85% discount and three months extra free. So how cool is that? All you have to do is use promo code SleeperDude. So Surfshark VPN, it protects your data. They'll even notify you if your data has been leaked out. Uh, they'll protect your email accounts. They'll even send you quarterly reports about your personal data and your security. With a VPN, you can also change your location. So say you want to access a TV show or a movie that's not in the US. So you can change your location with Surfshark and it'll show you to be in a different country. And it'll allow you to access different things like 15 different country locations for Netflix. You can also watch sports from other countries without buffering or pop-ups. It also has a kill switch where if your VPN network dropped for some reason, it would automatically kill your connection so nobody can get anything. And it automatically blocks more than a million malicious websites. You can use it on unlimited amount of devices and they have 24 seven support if you need help. They have live chat, email. And if you're tired of all these apps tracking your location, you can just change your location. They have no idea where you're at. So big thank you to Surfshark VPN for supporting our channel. And you guys can support us by clicking the link in the description or using the QR code to get Surfshark VPN. And purchasing a 24-month VPN plan is seriously one of the best options out there. And now as Black Friday is so close, Surfshark has a great offer. 85% discount and three months extra for free. Plus you get a 30 day money back guarantee. Just make sure you use promo code SleeperDude for the best possible deal. Now let's get back to our video. Welcome back to the SleeperDude YouTube channel. It's cold today and we're probably on our last mission here in the old truck because it's become our field truck right now. We're gonna go out here and get this LTD station wagon we saved from the crusher at the junkyard and clean it up and see what we got. See if it's worthy of fixing up if we're gonna try to get it running or what we want to see it looks like it has good interior so this thing sat in a junkyard for 30 years and we're gonna pull it up to the house and clean it up and see what we got yeah truck still stuck down there in the creek and the bull hates the truck so he'll yeah. probably chase us oh here we go yep. it's, there on. We go. it's on it's on there he goes he does not like trucks okay, now he's what are you mad about bro We've started our own little storage section down here. We need to eventually build a shop big enough to put all this in, but we can't fit them all in the yard, so we put a bunch of them back here. And we bring them up to the house when we need to work on them. Like the yellow? Yeah. Oh, I yeah. love the yellow one. I thought you liked it. If I could pick out all of these, I'd probably pick the I black one. I like the yellow one and the blue one. The black, black one. Blue. Wagon. 
So this thing's got some flats in the back. So we're gonna go ahead and swap them out. We bought a whole set of hoops and casings at Ford Fest that came off of Fairmont. So we'll bolt right on here. We got a deal on them, didn't we? Yeah. I don't remember if it rolled or not. We moved it. Hard to keep up with which one. It's does hard what. to keep up with which Fox Body Station Wagon we were working on. Got it, bud? Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> that was a guy. A woolly worm. He was warm and it's cold. You gotta get out of here, bro. You're gonna be dizzy if you don't get out of here. Here. Find me somewhere else. We haven't even looked through this thing. This is my favorite. We were in, we were in such a hurry when we bought these cars to save them from the crusher. We didn't like spend time looking through them or anything. Here we go. So we don't know what this thing was used for, but it had a spotlight and it has this big like cop looking antenna badge thing on the door. So we don't know if it was some sort of government vehicle or why it has a spotlight and stuff. We'll figure it out maybe in this. So it was some sort of numbered vehicle. What is that? I don't know what that is. You think it was? A, I don't know. I think that might be an eight. Like, why would it have a spotlight if it wasn't some sort of like police type vehicle? I don't know. Maybe that'll hold. You driving the truck? Sure. Okay, watch out for the bull. Okay. If we hurry, we can beat the bull. Look, okay. he's down there. Yeah, let's beat the bull. Look how nice these seats are. I think they're gonna clean up. Yeah. How many miles does that have? It says 14, so probably 114,000. <laughs> We'll have to pull the headliner down first thing. Man, these are nice seats in there. Is that pleather? Is that what we're looking at here? The dash is so good. Got them Radeon speakers too. All right, let's go. I have no brakes and no gears. What could go wrong? Nothing. Oh gosh, Brownfee. Here we go. You know he's gonna complain about something I did. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, here comes the bull. He's found us. He's running this way. This one's rolling. You look like you're rolling a bank in there. I think we are. Get up. Like, I'm not hearing no skirting. What? Say again? Skirting. You don't hear no skirting? Oh my lord, watch him run towards us. <laughs> I got my hat already. <laughs> I didn't put it in full wheel drive. He's a very weird cow. She's got her cow knocker hanging out the door. I guess she's gonna smack him if he gets close. It's rolling pretty good now. He does not like vehicles. I don't know why. Oh, he's getting scolded. These two are rolling. I think we got a flat up front now though. That's good, that'll slow us down. I can't even see anything. That's sad. <laughs> By the way, um, this one's off the bead, bad. Did it get real flat on us? I guess. It wasn't flat when we were out there? Well, it's like terrible. Oh gosh. Yeah. It just had air in a few minutes ago. Not anymore. That's... Maybe we can sneak this back on the bead real quick. I didn't know I about run this wheel well, off. It wasn't, it wasn't flat when we started moving. I think you have a full set of caps for this thing. Yeah. A full set. Got to get one immediately. That's the first thing, right? Yeah. Priorities. Oh, it looks so much better already. You know, if you got a full set of caps, might as well run them. It even fits on the spare. That's funny. <laughs> Let's see what we can find in here. Well, we got some glass fuses. And the spring. Ooh, nice. Oh, wait. There's the, the trunk key for the hatch. Let's awesome. Open it. That's kind of incredible. We had the, the other cars we didn't have keys for. Ooh, that lock is stiff. 
Put you out your end. Oh, that'll fix it. We may have to oil that and revisit it. Yeah. I don't want to break it. Look how good the carpet looks. Yeah, it does look pretty good. I can't even see it. Can't see nothing. I mean, this is just like the seats that were in my LTD wagon, the brown one. Look, here's your rose, honey. Look at that. Thank you. Somebody's put a cassette player in it. No cassettes in there. Ashtray. What's back there? Nothing. Oh, was that a rat? Oh, 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 oh. I think it ran out when I picked the seat. Oh, man. I, I thought it was a sore It's thought, under. It's a mouse. It's under here. Look, I lifted the seat up and I saw it, but I thought it was a piece of fluff and I saw it run right past me. Okay. Yeah. Second time. Ugh. Actually, have we done a cleanup since the MG? Is this the two in a row? I guess it this is. is two, in two in a row. I'm not afraid of them, but when they start on me like that, it scares me to death. See, and the rat came out. Oh, oh there's his nest. Yeah. Oh, man. I picked it up, and it was still latched, and it went right through there. Really? I'm pretty sure there was actually two. I saw the one go this way. Yeah, he's he's seen one go that because he was already telling us about it before this one came over. Oh wow! What is this? What is on that? Look at that. Ew! What? Look, what is that? This, whatever's on it, it just wipes right off. Is there anything in the glove box? Here's our marker lot. Sweet, we got both marker lots. We know this guy made at least two great decisions in his life. He bought an LTD wagon and he ate at KFC. Oh look, we got the original 84 LTD owner's manual and I operator's think guide. Prime condition, that look, second one. In the plastic, as Roy would say. In the plastic. Oh, this is the owner's manual for the Targa Auto Sound Q625. That alone was worth the price of the vehicle. 1994 was the last time it was registered. 28 years this thing's been off the road. Wow. We knew most of all these cars we bought from there were like 20 to 30 years at least. They've had problems with their ignition before, like all these cars do. We got our warranty information. Do you think this thing's still under warranty? We're under warranty sign. I would think so. Oh, we got receipted here. Look at this. What do we got? This is when they put your card in the thing. And it slides over it. And it slides over it. <laughs> it's a copy of their debit or credit card. It gives us all the information. That's such a stupid way to do it. I don't know what he get, did, but Daniel in 91, Bought something for it. What is this? Million mile muffler warranty. <laughs> we still are under warranty then. So we, we're gonna cash that in. Diane got this in December of 91 in Rochester, New Hampshire. So it's from New Hampshire at some point. We haven't really got this many receipts before, have we? State of Vermont. Diane bought this car in Vermont in 1990. Paid $700 for it is all it was worth in 1990. Well, that's pretty cool. So it was bought in 90, and it was in the junkyard in 90, around 94, it looks like. A bill of sale from Bill Smith Auto Sales in West Rutland, Vermont, 1990. That may have been the last time it was sold. Well, this is Catherine. <laughs> 94 says Catherine. Maybe a bunch of people owned it between 90 and 94. It looks like it got off the road in 94 for some reason. I don't see much else in here, do you? Well, let's get to cleaning. A viewer sent me these for the expectation that wintertime was coming. I'm going to try them out. Flip-flop socks. It's catching on. <laughs> you know, starting trends around here. That's all we do. Oh, my gosh. So, I'm going to pull the headliner out first. I don't know what this is made out of. Probably asbestos. I'm really bad to start cleaning a car up and then realize, oh, I have to pull the headliner. I clean all the inside out, and I get all this headliner stuff on it. Feel how flimsy it is. It's it's so. It's like. It's like toilet paper. Yeah, it's like there's no there's no structure to it whatsoever. It's like toilet paper at the motel or something. Yeah, like that single ply stuff my grandma has. Okay. You see why this is holding on? Push pins. Just like oh, Dad did in that old Park Avenue. I see the blue one too. That didn't match the color. Yeah, this one's white. That one's brown. Look, there's a wire going up to that. That's screwed to the body. Whatever that, that is on in the, the roof. Top. Yeah. Yeah, go ahead and... There we go. Did you get some of that? 
some in there, you think? Yeah, I did with the straw for sure. Okay. Oh, it's got a mirror on this side. That's so faint. I think that's most all the headliner we're going to take out of it. Thankfully, I'm not too scared of mice. I guess we need to start vacuuming. We need to get that back lift gate open, though, too, don't we? Let's try it again. Look how nice the seat. I was going to say, that seat's in great shape, though, really. Yeah, I mean, it's really nice. Ooh, it does turn a lot easier. I want it open. Oh. Oh. Yeah, that's what I thought. I thought it was just a little. She's just stuck. stuck. Oh, wow. That's actually not that bad. Is it going to stay up? That's a miracle. No way. That's awesome. It stays up? What's under here? What are you thinking? Dead body? Oh, my gosh. Hey, Sheep we got are. a full-size spare. We is it a, moldy? It's a little moldy. What is that? I don't know. I've never seen that on one before. Look how solid the floor is back here, though. What's in here? Do -do -do. The original Jack. Oh, wait. We've got Master Inspector. What have you found, sir? Did he get in there? Yeah, he's eating headliner and hey. sniffing rap pee, I, I guess. What do you think about this one? He watched it. Oh gosh, Rocky, where'd you come from, boy? He is so furry right now. Because <laughs> it's so cold, they fluff their hair out. How they do it? Ah, it's magic. Goat magic. You're so fluffy right now, buddy. Don't be eating the car. <laughs> Any uh, babies in there? I don't think there was. <laughs> mm-hmm. Oh. It's like stuck. Get him, kitty, kitty, get him. It knows, doesn't it? She'll get it if it's there to get hey, it. Hey, where's Scooter? It's going right where we yeah. saw it. Never fear, Scooter's here. We need your assistance, Scooter. We know they're in there. Were they on the mats? Or are you sniffing it out? <laughs> He's on the case. Still sniff everything. Man, look at that. It's huh. not even got a ripped up driver's seat. What is that? Let's see it open. What is that? I don't know what that is. It has like a needle end on it. Like a pointy end. That looks like, you know, in James Bond when they poke in the neck. Oh. oh Lord. It's a cyanide capsule. This was a secret agent's car. Somebody let us know what it is in the comments. It might actually be. Talk me with it. No! <laughs> I don't know what that is. It was in this little capsule thing. That's weird. That's, That's weird. Sketch. I may have to take that speaker out. I hate to break up a happy home like that. What is that? What are they smoking in here? <laughs> what do we got? I get Marlboros. Is that what that is? Yeah, oh, yeah, Marlboro. smoked Marlboro. Yeah. They were a cowboy, weren't they? My fingers are so cold. You look so cute in your hat. Crazy how many people smoked back then. Yeah. It may have been 28 years since this hatch has been open. It doesn't really look like they sold parts off of it, you know? No. This is so bad on a car right here. It just holds moisture and makes it rot out. It landed on me. <laughs>
I pushed down here and it fell on me. I bet those pine needles are holding it up. There you go. Well, <laughs> it held for a little bit. Nope. It was marble reds right there. Oh, How do you know all this? <laughs> Bye, <Bella. laughs> Whatever it is. I think it's fungi. Oh no. It couldn't handle it. Too much pressure. Folds down this way. That's awesome. Yeah, so you can Scooter's have. Scooter's under it. You can fit like a sheet of plywood in here, probably. I cannot believe the kind of shape these seats are in. It, it's got great interior. Is the law awesome or this tough stuff gonna be better? Awesome. Well, we're gonna try that now and see which one is better for this. This ain't over them yet. Okay, we're gonna do the comparison. So do one half with tough stuff and the other half with the. Uh, Law Awesome. This is hard to spray. Yeah, it's, it's the poverty model. But that stuff is really good. Like, both of those products are really good. We got these guys, these bad boys here. Oh, Lord. Everybody's saying we need to try to use brushes on them, so we're going to try it with a drill here. Okay. Yeah, go for it. Go, go slow. Cool. Go slow. Get like that. Oh, wow. Wow. That gets down them cracks, huh? Oh, yeah. Because you got to. Clean the cracks. Exactly. You heard it here first, folks. <laughs> Clean your crack. We're keeping this scientific. We're not cross-contaminating here. Oh! Wow! We can never get those things clean like that. That's crazy. This, he's going to Oh, next level. Man, it works for them armrests like crazy. Look, a tiny one. Oh, you got a bunch of them, yeah, huh? Yeah, smaller ones, too. Oh, so. sweetly. Do you like in this, Ralph? Yep. He's such a cleaner. <laughs> I don't know why he likes to clean so much. You can You're barely clean. get get a, a dirty oily piece of something out for he's scrubbing on it. Yeah. I've never seen anything that'll clean armrests like this. These armrests always hold it for whatever reason. Now That's we're gonna do the tough stuff side. Check us out on other platforms at Sleeper Dude eighty eight. Which one did better? Is the question. How looks, is that door panel in that good shape? It looks so good. I'm kind of saying Law Awesome right here. You think? Yeah, I think it did a little bit better. Look at this. Look at this. Oh my God. This car. Why did this end up in a junkyard? You know? It's not reassuring. <laughs> Probably. Probably has some catastrophic engine failure if I had to oh. guess. Yeah. We might just need to yank the engine out of it and put something else in yeah. huh? who owns ltd ford That's what I ford ltd living the dream oh <laughs> i think you told me that before uh, yeah. with the old ltd i think i was riding with you and you told me that yeah you were probably like five yeah i really wish we would have videoed the process of bringing home the other ltd we pulled it home with my Geo Tracker. I don't even remember that. Well, you were really little. You were like yeah. a baby. We pulled it home with it with the chain. We got it home and cleaned it up like this. There's a video of us after we got it home with it all moldy. And then there's a video of it completely cleaned up. But there's no... We didn't video us cleaning it up. We just videoed before and after. This looks But we so tried good. to get that car running. And we didn't video any of that back then. We would do this stuff and just never videoed it. We would video it after we got everything done. Be like, oh, we got it. You know, we tried to get it running. I think if you get tough stuff or or law awesome, either way, you'd be good to go. That is really Wait, good. Wait, there's cigarettes? Yeah, you didn't see them? No. Marlboro, son. 
there might still be a little bit left in them. This cleaned up way better than it normally does. There's still a little bit, but I mean, normally that doesn't come clean at all. I, I'm saying loss, and I think it just looks better. It's funny to me, it has vinyl interior, but it has crank windows, manual mirrors. Somebody put these speakers in here. That's not a factory deal there. I hate that they cut this door panel up up here. So you got the tough stuff over there? Yeah, I guess I'm team tough stuff today. Look at the difference this is making. Look at that. Game changer. <laughs> Just takes all that off. It's like new. That's crazy. This and the, the Zephyr have really nice interiors. That looks great. It does, doesn't it? Did you it's kill it, Scooter? It's a nice. Scooter got it? Scooter killed it. He's excited, so he definitely got it. Where did he get it? I don't know. It kind of looks like a baby. It's not a baby. It's not a baby. Oh, and it it's wet. Like it. Oh, he slobbered it. it was... I, 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 oh, 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 God. Okay, okay. What do we do without him? He's like better than rat poison. What it? What is this? Fungi or something? What was that? Oh my god! Nice. Oh, 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 oh. Hey, I'm gonna do a steering wheel first. Dad. Was the steering wheel black? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah really bad. Look get, at it. They usually get super black. Wow. Did nobody ever ride in this car? Well, huh? They did because they had cigarettes back here. Yeah, they were smoking it up. You want to clean that up for us? It'll come off. It's making it shinier. This is not, this may have not been a good thing to teach him. Get your crack. Oh. All right, good. They're going to look brand new, aren't they? They're going to be real close to brand new. It's crazy. You wouldn't think that it had sat in a junkyard that long, you know? Look at how much better that seat looks. I mean, have you ever seen pleather this nice? <laughs> this actually feels good. Man, look at this. Perfect door panel, perfect door panel. Basically perfect know. seats. My foot can reach the pedal on it. Oh, you like that? Look at these door panels, man. We gotta clean the back of the seat still, but if we put a speaker in there, we'd have a perfect door panel here. Look at this, where do you find a driver's seat in that good of shape? from 1984. It's crazy, huh? Yeah. It'll be awesome if it runs. That would be awesome, yes. I can't wait to see what the paint job looks like. I know it's got surface rust, obviously, but still. If it cleans up good and runs, will you keep it? Of course, it's a station wagon. It's awesome. Yes, it is. But we've got to go to church, right? We're going to go clean up and warm up and go to church, and we'll come back to this tomorrow. Shoo! Shoo! 
and we're back all right let's get back to cleaning on this thing incredible interior nice we should have been using brushes a long time ago we have to clean our crack pretty good though aren't we that's just good advice in general though you know And look at that. They clean up so nice. I've tried a couple spots doing it without the brushes. And it's like the black stays in the texture more. Brushes definitely get the black out of the inside of the texture part. Man, what a nice back seat. I'm going to spray some stuff on this and let it soak for a while. Now, I believe this car has been in heavy traffic before. So this ought to work. It's kind of stained too around the floor mat area right here. Mom will be begging me to sell her Yukon. <coughs> you know? What'd you think? Yeah. She will want to drive this thing. Man, look at that. Man, look That's at that. like brand new. It is like brand new in here now. Gotta be better than doing it by hand, huh? Look how dirty that was. Look how nice the carpet's looking. You wouldn't watch somebody struggle, would you? the outside yeah it looks terrible on the outside so our problem back here is this is like turning to powder so we're afraid to hurt it they've cleaned it some <laughs> you can see where they cleaned it but well, the back interior here is falling apart i think the sun was probably worse on it yeah I, was I think we're pretty much done with the inside for the most part we may have a little bit of cleanup to do here and there but some of this hard plastic stuff just not clean up as good see how it's coming apart seats spot on door panels spot on right yes all right well i guess we can start pressure washing it what do you think scoot i'm, I'm excited to pressure wash it i think it's yeah. gonna look good scoot, what are you doing in get there? off we just clean that bro he's Ooh, he knows there's a mace in there know. all right let me crank up this pressure washer so we usually we pressure wash them first and then we bleach it we're gonna try something different we're gonna bleach it then we're gonna pressure wash it never before seen footage right here guys the bleach really works good on this moldy junk, whatever it is, mildew, barnacles. Lichen? I know I'm not liking it. <laughs> Come on, Rock. It's too much. It's got a lot of junk on the roof. It's really kind of incredible how nasty this windshield is. I think it holds the record for the dirtiest windshield. I don't know how to make this stop. It's we got the Miley Cyrus pump up spray here, just can't stop. You'll get it. Oh, wow. It's so much good in it. Yeah, I love it. So much more yellow.
That's crazy. It's like way more yellow than I thought it was. It's like a banana, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. That's crazy. I didn't think it'd come off that easy.
you think this was? Somebody out there, maybe somebody watching the video, has to know what some of these colors. I'm guessing detective. Detective? In I'm a bright like, yellow yeah, car? Yeah, that's what that's <laughs> I'm thinking. I'm like, there's it's like, no way. I, my vote. Oh, wait, can you see what it said now? No way. I see something. You're right. Division. Like, forestry division. Does it say forestry division? No. It, <laughs> it says Boston. Ed Edison. Boston Edison. What? Wait. There's a circle here, and it says Boston Edison. What's Boston Edison? Uh, I see it. All right, let's look it up. Get on the Google. So there is a Boston Edison Historic District in Detroit, Michigan. Yeah, Neighborhood remote. located in the geographic center of Detroit, Michigan. 900 homes, largest residential historic district in the nation. So is this like a like a rent-a-cop who would drive around the neighborhood? National Register of Historic Places in 1975. Well, tell them we got one of their collector pieces. Henry Ford's house is there. Maybe this was Henry's car. <laughs> you know how it all did it? Cars were invented when that was. It's like the 1940s. So it says in 1891, Edward Voigt created a subdivision there in 1891. I didn't know there was subdivisions in 1891. If you're from that area or you know, you've seen these cars there, let us know what they use them for. Like, what are they use them for there? I don't understand. Karen Patrol. Well, it had a, it had a spotlight. Wow. So, and it had like CB radios. And it had a weird needle thing. All right, we're going to do this side now. Bleach it up. Man, I'm just so glad we found out what it was. I was really wondering what that was. You don't know, like tornado chaser people? Oh, Lord. Oh, I think that's what this, this baby done. The, I, I guarantee you, when you seen this car driving down the road, there was a tornado coming. And point and clean that up <laughs> ain't gonna survive is it oh man that's gonna cost me 19.99 i love it look at this beauty it's just so good it's so yellow it's just incredibly yellow i think this is my favorite one of the yeah i agree the Bikes junkyard one oh the wagons is that what yeah. you mean i both probably agree out of all the wagons i probably like i, I like its color and but it's nicely yeah, done, and great. I like this color better than the other colors. For real. It's so bright, though. And this right here held the dirt so bad. It was just packed in there underneath all that stuff. Man, can you imagine this thing brand new, how bright it must have been? 
So you think that's like original color? Oh, it's definitely the original color, yeah. Was it rustier than you think, or was it less rusty? Uh, I mean, I could see those spots before, so it's uh, about what I thought it would be, it really. Floors, it? Yeah, it had floors, and look, look how nice the top is. And the interior, yeah. it's just touching. Yeah, bring it up again. Let's go talk about it. <laughs> look, we ought to put our antenna up. Wow. Yeah. Oh, that's complete. Complete yeah. right there. This thing had dual aerials at one point. Okay, well, I guess I need to wash under the hood of this thing now. Might should have done that before, actually, but... Is that the only rust hole I've seen? I, I saw the bottoms of the back door. I saw yeah. some rust. But most of it's just surface rust from what I've seen so far. This is weird. I don't know why I did that. Probably because all that junk gets stuck in this and starts rusting from behind there, and it started peeling. But I kind of like this. It's kind of cool. Yeah. You know what will take that off? Green stuff in the... Scrubby things. Yeah, yeah, the like a, stuff like a, yeah, exactly. The comet and a yeah. like a SOS paddle take those rust stains off. I think yeah. I'm gonna leave them. Yeah, it's character. Yeah. It is character. I don't know why they didn't put the aluminum bumpers on the LTDs like they did the Fairmonts, but oh. we got a 3.8 V6 over here and a very yellow engine bay and a garden. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Look, it's not rusted out around the cow like most of them are. That's funny. Oh, look, here we got some vines. This is, I thought it was wiring, but it's actually vines. I guess degrease it up and we'll go after this one. Degreasing the pine needles. They need it. They need it, yeah. Hey, what oil filter is that? It's green. The green oil filter? You see the name on it. Do you see it? Oh, it's a Quaker State oil filter, okay. Ralphie was convinced that this was a carbureted car. I said, no, that is throttle body injection. So he hadn't really seen that. But I remember that it said fuel injection. But look, inside. see this? Yeah. These are fuel injectors. It has two of them right in the top. Only two? Yeah, it just has two injectors right there. Sounds like a carburetor, yeah. but fuel injected. It's like a carburetor, but fuel injected. So I don't know if we're going to try to get this one running. Let us know in the comments if you'd like to see us get it running. I just didn't figure there was that many people wanted to see me get a fuel injected V6 running, but maybe you want to see it. Maybe I'm wrong. We'll see in the comments, I guess. It's definitely an original yellow car. We have some unfortunate rust down here. Like, usually this would be on the battery side. It's rusted out some of the frame rail right here in front of the strut tower. I don't know if maybe we can patch that up at some point. The funny thing is the battery side looks to be more solid than the driver's side. I don't know if that's salt from being up north or what, but... It still has a battery box. Yeah, it still has a battery box. And look, in place. Like, yeah. what's what's the odds of that? I don't know. Maybe we'll try to get it running at some point. Godzilla. No, oh, here we go. Godzilla. We should check the oil over here. We're good. We're golden. This is the very first year that they went fuel injection on these cars. So this is a 84. I had an 83 LTD, and it was carbureted. So this is the first year of the fuel injection V6. Pretty cool. So now we're going to go over this thing with a brush and we'll probably spray some bleach on it as well put some degreaser on the casings and get this thing spot on because the pressure washer did really great getting that black off there but we still got some you know black spots and stuff we need to get off here and there some paint we got to get off squeezy you think you get some steel wool and get that off maybe There's an animal cracker left.
Looking good at it. Yeah. Works good, don't it? Zero, 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 steel Four wool. zero steel wool to clean your glass. It cleans glass and chrome really well. <laughs> Do not spray her. Absolutely. we all forget yeah. good job bub we're gonna go ahead and wash our jams out too that's another thing a lot of people don't do very often on the car is wash the door doors that's gonna be a big difference there that's really dirty isn't it yeah. what is that is that the casing sticker yeah, it says police, station wagon, something. We'll read it in a minute. 30 PSI on the front. Police mall have five more PSI on the casing. I can't believe how yellow it is. Like. <laughs> The interior. I know. Nice. The interior is basically perfect. I mean, you put a speaker back in this door and you got a perfect interior. Yeah. Put some floor mats in it. We should have got some new floor mats, huh? Yeah. We'll have to get some. But man, look at these seats. Look at this. this is awesome. It's crazy. Squeezy, what do you think about it? Well, for a junkyard, it's incredible. 28 years in a junkyard and look at the interior. It's crazy. I mean, we got some surface rust in some places, but I'm really impressed with this thing. The glass clean. Look how nice the glass is now. Yeah, it's awesome. Hey, we didn't read that thing in the middle, did we? Oh, no. New Hampshire, 1993. So that lines up with all the paperwork we saw. So apparently it was sold from a dealership in 90. And by 94 was the last records of it being on the road. Squeeze, do you like it? Probably with 10. Six. Six out of 10. That's oh. pretty good on squeeze scale. Oh, oh. We need to put a CB back in it, huh? Yeah, that'd be funny. So we got to figure out what we're going to do with this thing now. I mean, we got a better car than we thought we had here. It's in really good shape. Uh, excellent interior, especially. It really surprised me. I'm honestly surprised at how good a shape it's in for as long as it sat in the junkyard. It's my favorite. And we've even got the marker lots. We found the marker lots. We can set them back it's in the front. It's my favorite out of all your wagons. Out of all the wagons? Yeah. Well, we still haven't cleaned up the other two. We but got a black one and a blue one to clean up. I like the black one that has the hand lettering on it. That's pretty cool. Yeah, true. We need to clean the black and the blue one up and see what they look like because, man, this one, it surprised me. Like, maybe them other two. Of course, the black one had the windows down. Well, guys, this was really successful. I can't quit talking about how impressed I am with this vehicle. You've mastered the RC cola. I have mastered it. Now, listen, don't be drinking in Dad's car now, okay? You better not spill a drop in this thing after we cleaned it up. Let us know in the comments what you'd like to see us do with this car. Rocky has not been very helpful lately. <laughs> He's been walking around the yard just picking. He has nothing to do with us. Drink your RC Colas. Eat your Vainas. They're good for you. They're just like taking your vitamins, okay? Right? Okay. Yeah. Make sure and pour one out for your homies. And feed the baby birds. They're hungry too. How do you get a car out of a junkyard and it look this good when you get it cleaned up? I can't believe it. Is that bourbon barbecue? That's that good stuff. You want some? I'll take half of one. Uh, there you go. Hey, she's coming around. There may be hope for Squeezy yet. But you can check out our second channel at Sleeper Dude 2. You can check us out on Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok at Sleeper Dude 88. You can buy our merchandise down below. We got some flip flops and May Pops. We got uh, Rocky Christmas shirts. You might want to get those for your mother in law. She'll love it. We also got a uh, That's Unfortunate shirt, I Love Wawa shirt, all kinds of stuff. It's the gift that keeps on giving the whole year round. Yes. 
Just like 12 cans of bourbon barbecue. Yeah, you can become a member now on the channel. That gets uh, all your comments answered. We try to answer them all, but you know, when you got thousands and thousands of them, it's kind of hard to keep up sometimes. You also get updates weeks before everybody else uh, on what's going on. So that's kind of cool if you like to know projects we bought that we haven't shown on the channel yet, stuff like that. I want to get on the Metro Mont. We keep saying that. I want to get on the Metro Mont, but I also need to get the Mini Winnie in and get it ready for next summer. Right, kids? Yeah. Exactly. I'm fine with that. Okay. Bucky's in Texas. Woo! We also need to get back on the Falcon. It's been so long since he worked on the Falcon, hasn't it? We love that little yep. car. We drive it. We need to do some sort of swap a Ruski on that thing. Yeah, Ruski. Some upgrades. But we better give Rocky some of these. He has ran off. He didn't even understand what was going on. So we're going to have to find Rocky, feed him some of these, and give Vanya her RC Cola. She's going to be mad. And remember, save all the station wagons. Somebody's got to do it. We need you. Hey, Wooly Booger, you're going to have to help more around here. You've just been picking around the yard and not helping anymore. The there you go. That's all. That's all we had left. The kids was hungry this time. Oh, look at that. The action. <laughs> you want to see the bull? He's buck wild. Oh, okay. Cut. Oh, he's smiling. Oh, good to the last drop, isn't it? <laughs> Easy squeezy. She's, she's buck wild. You gotta watch her. She wants to drink it all at once. You never got to do this before, have you, Squeeze? I've got to do it one time. Oh, one time is all? Bye! Bye! Who cut the cheese?